So I'm here with Judah Hemengo. Okay. And it was, I have to say, this was funny in the talk I did this morning. Yes. When I asked people, has anybody heard of Microsoft Phoenix? Phoenix. You're the only guy that raised the that's hand. True, that's like, true, that's true. I would have bet if there was one, it would have been you. Yes, so, yes. Um, so your talk at this go camp is on? Uh, it's on Knockout Jazz, which is a JavaScript framework for doing uh, data binding and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is Knockout JS, was it kind of touted as the MVV, or not the MVVM, but is it like the XAML for JavaScript developers? Well, it actually is MVVM for JavaScript. Okay. Um, okay. So it does bring that pattern over, and um, that pattern is like uh, designed for data binding, right? Um, you know, Microsoft kind of introduced it with Silverlight WPF. Um, so, so Knockout brings data binding to JavaScript HTML and um, uses that pattern because that pattern is so tailored to data binding. So um, add some structure to your JavaScript code and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. So for somebody who's not done, I did JavaScript a long time ago, yes. five years ago, yes. and I've seen it, but I don't play with it as much as I used to, so yeah. what, how does it look? I mean, we could go over the whiteboard, but if yeah. you can like, conceptually tell me, how does it work? Okay, so so the good news is is um, it it makes your JavaScript code simpler. Um, if you if you don't use a framework like this, you end up with lots of jQuery stuff where you're you know querying for DOM elements and updating them. It's kind of a mess of JavaScript. Um, but with with uh, Knockout, what happens is you do data binding, and then your JavaScript is very focused on just logic. It's very object oriented. You have functions right on your JavaScript objects, um, and so it's really clean JavaScript. And I'm going to show that tomorrow in the talk. Are there, what other frameworks are, are out there now from JavaScript? Because yeah. it seems like, especially in the last couple of years, there's been all these .js stuff right. that's yes. exploded and made, made it more popular. So what were yeah. some other ones that you may have used? Yeah, so I think one of the big ones out there is Backbone.js, which is an MVC framework in JavaScript. So where Knockout is MVVM with data binding, Backbone is an MVC framework. Um, <laughs> And one of the differences is Backbone is very comprehensive. Like it even wraps some of your uh, AJAX calls, so you, you know a lot of things are abstracted. It's very comprehensive. But one of the problems with it is huge learning curve, right? It's it's so it's such a big framework. It takes a lot to get started. Yeah. Um, Knockout is very simple. Only a couple of concepts to grasp, and you can start using it. Um, and yeah, very simple to pick up. Um, and and that's one of the reasons I like it. It's just a small framework, very easy to use. Okay, cool. Thanks, Judah. Thank you. Let's get it, go down. Let's get it, go down.